So I literally just finished watching the first episode of the Halo TV show. And as a long-term Halo fan, I have some thoughts on it. Some good ones and some questionable ones. I'm going to tell you all about them in the spoiler-free review. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you another Halo news and informational video. Today we're talking about the Halo TV show. Guys, it's a pretty interesting show to say the least and it uh, causes some interesting questions we brought up in the first episode. But if you like these discussion videos about the show, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within that all famous YouTube algorithm. But let's not waste any more time and get right into those details so like i said this is a spoiler free review so i'm not gonna go like scene by scene exactly what everything meant that would require multiple viewings to kind of fully understand the full context of everything that's happening so this is more just kind of like does the halo tv show capture the essence of what halo is does pablo schreiber do a good job of acting as master chief do the covenant really look like the covenant feel like the covenant and for the most part to summarize the whole thing long story short yes the show was good i had a good time watching the first episode a long-term Halo fan like I've been playing Halo and uh, consuming everything Halo related you look at my wall dude you see this that's Halo stuff so yeah I'm a bit of a fan and I'm gonna be rather critical about this show because there's so many times when it comes to video game content going to live action it never really translates that well I mean we're seeing it right now with the most recent Uncharted movie with Tom Holland which you would think would be a smash hit but turned out didn't really be that great and video games have consistently struggled to come to the live action side of things but does Halo do a good job of it well my first impression of it I would say yeah again this is the first episode so there's a lot more to find out about the show to have a true opinion if the show itself is good but the first episode i was definitely entertained with i was actually kind of surprised that they actually kind of went into talking about like the insurrectionists and the spartans and their purpose honestly at first and how the unsc is kind of overbearing on those insurrectionists as well right off the bat the show kind of prefaces the spartans as kind of just like ruthless killers that are just kind of like almost evil at some points are just they're almost like robots in a way they're just kind of death squads which i mean kind of were in the early halo lore so i was kind of surprised they went into that route but again you know government conflicts always is a really popular topic nowadays anyways the show is much more brutal than the games like it's a definitely a show that's designed for people who are 18 and over probably more like people my age that are like we've been a long time halo fans that you know it's definitely much more of a mature feeling kind of show um with dealing more kind of like complex adult kind of stuff like politics and stuff like that but some of the scenes like the action things were kind of brutal man like people getting straight up murdered a lot of blood and so like that's much more that's much more violent than you'll ever see in a halo video game for sure honestly i had this feeling while i was watching it like you know people you know cry about video games causing violence but i'm watching this i'm like this is way more violent than i would ever see in a halo game and the confusing thing to me was like we saw the insurrectionists and the spartans fighting against the elites like in that we've seen fall throughout the trailers and stuff like that the weird thing is it's like the insurrectionist bullets like do nothing against like the elites whatsoever but the spartan bullets oh slapping elites all over the place that part we've seen with master Chief picking up that chain gun that is a chain gun from the insurrectionist and they use that earlier in the scene cause no damage master Chief picks up slaughters elites which while an awesome badass scene i was just watching going this is kind of confusing like why do their bullets work but then their bullets don't work out I, I mean I was kind of rolling with it just because, you know, it creates a more dynamic scene, I guess. I have a feeling the big theme from this show, from the setting for the first episode, it's kind of setting these Spartans to be like, yes, sir, like follow all orders, kind of like almost robots in a way, which is kind of true about Spartans. But I think like a lot of this show is going to be finding Master Chief's humanity, kind of almost playing off what we had with Halo 4, right? Where we kind of see like the what's behind the mask kind of situation, which we do see in this episode. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But kind of touching on like the human side of Master Chief and kind of looking at who he is as a person which is something that's never really truly been touched on a whole lot like yeah we know uh, from the lore side of things that he was a child abducted young and then you know indoctrinated into the unsc become a spartan and he's like all awesome and stuff like that but it seems like master chief is kind of questioning authority a little bit with this first episode which is kind of surprising to go first episode that hard onto master chief like breaking like you know going a wall kind of stuff like we saw with halo 5 and it seems like master chief might kind of struggle with that kind of human element a bit with throughout the show but we'll just find out more as the show progresses 
Now there were two lines of dialogue I really want to share with you guys. I shared this on a short video if you guys want to see that. Uh, but basically they made an awesome reference to C saying this cave is not a natural formation, which I loved that. I mean, like that just put a smile on my face. I was like, no way they made like such a nerdy reference from Halo CE in the show. So I love that as well. There's even a Mass Effect reference within the show. You hear like some dialogue in the background kind of stuff, but clearly you're able to hear it saying, Commander Shepard, you're requested in the Skillian Response Center, which if you guys are Mass Effect fans, obviously Commander Shepard is who you play as. The Skillian Response Center, most likely referencing the Skillian Blitz, was one of the reforming story elements of your character when you first started playing Mass Effect 1. Now we didn't see, really see much of the rest of uh, Silver Team. They're more just kind of like accompanying Chief and doing badass things within the show. They didn't really go into them much, but I think we'll see more about them later on in the show. Halsey feels very much like Dr. Dr. Halsey, who's like out there for good, but willing to kind of bend the rules a little bit to, you know, see if she can get what she wants. Uh, the one thing is the UNSC felt very much more like Oni as a whole. I feel like they kind of maybe just merged Oni and UNSC just together, just kind of ease a little confusion kind of thing, because Oni's supposed to be kind of like the CIA in a way with an traditional Halo lore. As we do know that, you know, the show does not follow traditional Halo lore, it created its own scene right there. So maybe like UNSC, Oni kind of maybe like blended together to kind of be able to like, you know, whatever it takes to move, you know, humanity's power forward kind of thing. I never got that feel throughout the games one with the UNSC. Obviously we do know that the UNSC as a whole were very overbearing on the insurrections and kind of utilizing their, you know, colonies as resource facilities rather than actual like individual sovereign nations kind of stuff. Now this was already brought up through multiple show uh, trailer talks and discussions. We talked about this on the channel earlier, so this is not really a spoiler, but there's a big scene where Master Chief reveals his face. You see his face within the first episode. Now, I was really worried that like with Master Chief's face reveal that it would be more just kind of real casual kind of a thing and nothing really uh, that would mean or uh, have any significance. The scene where Chief reveals his face, it has a lot of significance and it's very crucial to the plot that they're trying to tell within this Halo show and which kind of leads you into like the next episode kind of thing. So I think they did a great job with that as well. Uh, it definitely felt like that scene was warranted with the face reveal. It wasn't just like a real casual like, hey, what's up guys? I'm Master Chief. How you doing? You and all the way, right? Another thing was the music. As we haven't really heard a whole lot of Halo music being utilized with these trailers. I mean, sometimes we'll have like little references here and there. Uh, for the most part, the music does kind of sound very much like, you know, dramatic sci-fi kind of sounds to the most of uh, the music uh though there were definitely halo references and you actually use like the halo melody quite often throughout the show as well so it definitely felt like halo but much more like a dramatic live action you would see well which is exactly what we're watching right now we're not exactly hearing a da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, like nothing like that but you know it's something where it feels like halo and that's the most important thing i really want to see from the show is that it just feels like halo and so far after that first episode i would say it feels like Halo. I mean, if I had to give it a rating, I really hate doing ratings after the very first episode because I, I view shows as more of like a contextual season long thing. That's when the rating really comes in. But if you really want a number of one to 10, what did I think about the Halo TV show? I'd put it probably around like a seven or eight. Just because I have reservations, I don't want to just go full on fanboy, go like, it's a 10 out of 10, it was great. But like, it was fun. I enjoyed my time watching the show and I can't wait till the second episode next week. It only docked down the points, mainly just because of like the whole UNSC being very much more like an Oni kind of experience rather than like UNSC, at least. That's kind of how I felt about the whole thing. Of course, I'm not exactly a Halo lore nut, but at least I know my stuff a little bit. I've played all the games multiple times through and I never got that experience from uh, the UNSC being like an overbearing government or power that's really willing to do like some sketchy stuff to, you know, progress their power forward, which usually is kind of what Oni's kind of side of UNSC is all about, which Parangoski, who's a character within the show, is like the, the um, leader of Oni. I don't know what the exact rank is or whatever, uh, but they never really made that clarification within the show. So that could be the reason why I'm feeling like this. But this is probably the most I can talk about the show without going into spoilers. But guys, overall, like if you have a chance to watch it, go watch it. You can get Paramount Plus for free right now for the first month through Xbox Game Pass. So we definitely want to jump in and do that. And for me as a long lifelong Halo fan, I'm happy with it. Like I enjoyed the episode. I can't wait till the second one and talk about it in that one either. But if you guys are new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.